In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up your own NLP uh, model. So what you want to do is uh, just go over here and click on NLP. And as you can see, you have all your uh, pre-trained models uh, that are super, super useful. Uh, but we're going to create a custom model. And if you look, uh, you can see we have two types, uh, entity and intent. And we'll just uh, create a new model test, give it a description of test. And we'll go down to English. Now, for the two types of NLP, we have entity and intent. Entity basically looks for uh, certain things. So it could look for a brand, a location, a person, a name, uh, and so on, uh, an entity. Intent, on the other hand, uh, tries to look at the text that's entered and come up with uh, the intent. So for example, if somebody types uh, display today's news from the USA, the intent is to show the news. So we're going to set up an uh, intent model. And the training type, uh, the only available now is the Bernoulli Naive Bayes model. Um, but this is a really powerful model that uh, is super easy to use. So we'll just click that, hit Create. And now you can see that we have a uh, intent NLP called test. And if we go back to bots real quick, and AI connection, you can see that our test is here, but we haven't added any samples or trained the model yet. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And we'll go back to NLP. And then for samples, you just click on samples. Now, the thing to remember is that the more samples that you have, uh, the more accurate the uh, NLP model is going to be. So uh, let's say for this test, uh, we're trying to see if they want to buy something. So one of the words we want to be looking for is buy. And then what we want to do is click this to positive. Now we want to do that. Um, so the other thing you want to remember when setting one of these up is that you do need at least one negative. So for a negative, we will put rent because if they want to rent something, they don't want to buy it. So for rent, the match will leave that negative. So you can see here, if they type buy, it's going to be a pat, a pass. Uh, if they type buy, uh, it, it's going to uh, detect that. And if they, uh, type rent, it's going to say, OK, that's not what we want. And like I said, uh, we'll put another one in here, shop. And basically, you want to go through and get as many of these as you can. Um, the more data that your uh, NLP model can use, uh, the more accurate it's going to be. Um, so it's really simple to uh, either set them up um, individually like this, or you can bulk insert um, where you put in a whole bunch of words, and then these are either matches or not matches. And then you can also import and export. So once you have that, you hit train and you can see her number of samples is only three. Usually you're going to want at least maybe 50, 100. Um, some of the pre-trained models have uh, tens of thousands of uh, data samples to uh, look at. But once you have your samples in, 
you just hit training and we can test it. I want to buy a car. If we test, uh, we are looking for the buy word, so the intent is true. But if we were to put in, I want to rent a car. It is still showing true. To rent a car. Okay, we might need to train it. Like I said, if we don't have a lot of samples, it's not going to be that uh, accurate. So what you want to do is if you're making your own is make sure you have at least 100 or so uh, different samples to uh, train the model on. And that's all there is uh, to setting up your own uh, NLP model. So if we go back to one of our bots and connections and AI connection, you can see that this is now available and we're not going to actually use it but uh, if you wanted to set one up and then add it to your bot uh, that's that's the way you do it